Hello, welcome. Uh, we're looking at, in this question, the idea of microfinancing, and it's a multiple choice question. So I'm gonna underline microfinancing. And here we're gonna focus on these choices. We'll talk through them. The first one said microfinancing describes, should be an S here, small micro loans that require collateral. That's not what it is. So most loans require what's called collateral. And, um, the collateral, I guess, in the simplest sense, is something that guarantees you'll pay off your debt. So if you get a loan for a new car, right, and you're asking for, I'm gonna draw a car while I'm talking about this. When you um, get a loan for a car, this is my car, and you, let's say you need a loan of $20,000. No, it's lower, $10,000. And you go to a bank and you ask for that loan, they need to guarantee, they want to guarantee that you're going to pay that 10,000. And that's where collateral comes in. So for example, if you take out the $10,000 loan, what do you own that's worth $10,000 that the bank could take? So that if you don't pay your loan, they can come after you and get what they need in terms of that loan. They don't want to not get paid. So collateral is the idea that you have some way of guaranteeing that you're paying your loan. It could be something you own, it could be something else. It's a really interesting concept, but it's devastating if you don't have anything of value and you're trying to get started, you're trying to get that car and get going. And that's where microfinancing comes in and, and that's why it's choice B. Um, this is covered in a really great film called Living on One. They talk about uh, different organizations that uh, support microfinancing like Kiva or KIVA. And the idea is that you can get a loan um, even if you don't have collateral, so you can get started, right? Whereas and normally you would get turned away. Now choices C and D refer to something called lending circles. Um, a lending circle is when you have a bunch of people, which are these people in a circle, pentagonal shape right here, and they pool their money together. Maybe each month they all put in $10 or something. And then at the end of the month, if there are five people pulling their money together, that $50 gets given to a different person. And it's random, but in but it's random until everyone has gotten that amount of money. So uh, maybe the first month, person A wins and gets the money. Then the next month, person B and person C and person D and then person E. And then it ro rotates again in a different order. What's nice about this is that um, if you aren't, are unable to get any kind of a loan, this your $10 that you put in has the potential of becoming $50. Also, eventually, everyone will get their $50 just at different times. So at the very worst, if you have to wait until the end, it's like you've saved $50 and it forces you to save. So it's a really positive experience. And these are called lending circles. Of course, they're not perfect. There are many issues with them. You might imagine it's difficult because how do you hold people accountable? Right? How do you get them together uh, to do this each month and guarantee that they do it? That's called a lending circle. But it's a way around a situation of having no credit available to you because you have no collateral. All right, hope that helped.